Let's jump my next guest stars on the hit TNT series Rizzoli and Isles. Well, now you can see here on the Showtime series Shameless, Sunday nights at 9. Take a look. There it is. What? That angst. <laughs> Just like Sheila. Yeah, that's the second time you mentioned her. I mean, who the hell is this Sheila chick? Egon Sheila, an Austrian painter. Oh. So, when you're finished with that, you mentioned wanting another chance? <laughs> that never happened to me. Please welcome the beautiful and talented Sasha Alexander. Yeah, uh, I have to say, uh, very, very uh, sexy, beautiful in that clip. <laughs> and they, I, I don't think you were, you got to do that kind of stuff on Rizzoli and Isles. Is that correct? No, I've only shown my forearms on Rizzoli right. and Isles. That's Rizzoli and Isles was more got. sort of, yeah, it was, uh, it was a little more conservative when yes. it came to that stuff. Yes. But now you're on Shameless. Mm -hmm. And so, yes. Uh, anything goes. Anything goes. Anything goes on Shameless. Yeah, it's a completely different, I play a, a professor, a married professor, having an affair with her student. Right. That's every young man's dream, <laughs> is that that Naughty. happens. Yeah, it's but Naughty. whenever uh, a, a beautiful professor invited me over to her house <laughs> to discuss a book, it was just to discuss a book. <laughs> in great detail, yeah. Uh, now, I'm curious about your home life, because in the past we've touched on this, but I never had a chance to ask you about it. You, there's a bit of a, a, a mix of cultures in your home. You speak several languages in your home, everyone we do. in the house. We Explain do. how this works. Well, my children are in French school because my husband uh, is Italian but was raised in France as well. So we have Italian and French. My mother's Serbian, so I speak Serbian as well, and of course, English. So, and I, I like to sing Serbian songs to my kids because they're really cute, and I grew up on them. So, yeah, you actually grew up happening. on. You grew up you, speaking uh, in, in the Serbian language yes. and, and, and singing Serbian songs in your house. Yes. <laughs> what are they, I mean, what's a Serbian song? I have no idea. <laughs> well, if you're anything like my husband, even though he speaks other languages, the Serbian language, although beautiful, has a lot of consonants. Mm -hmm. And, well, the curse words are, they're not as short as ours. Like, the, it, the language has more of an emotional component. So everything is a little uh, more descriptive, deeper, more specific. What do you mean, the, the curse words are like, for example, we know what our curse words are, we don't really have to go into it. Right. Andy, right. We'll rattle them off. <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you know, we know what our curse words are, you know, F you, that kind of right. thing. Right, right. What, what, what's the Serbian, what's the translation for a Serbian curse word? Well, I mean, for that, it, yeah. would, it would be some, the literal translation would be something deeper, like, you know, you're not worthy, go back inside your mama's hoo-ha, you know, or something really hard. It's like horrible, it's just deeper. Go back up in there? <laughs> well, here's another Horrifying. one. Okay. Here's another one. Um, if, let's say, your boyfriend cheated on you, instead of, instead of saying go to hell, you would say, you know, the bog da dobio glivice na yaima. And you would say it like, glivice na yaima, which literally means, I hope you get fungus on your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful language. <laughs> Well, I you know what I mean? Uh, there, in Greek, there's a lot of those, too, because I had a Greek friend, and he used to say, like, there was one, I can't remember what it was, but it was, I F, the vessel in which you were baptized. Oh. <laughs> it was very common. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh. They're just, like, deep. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's deeper. Like, no, it's really, creative. like, harsh, really harsh. Do you speak, now you said your kids are in French school, do you speak French? You know, I'm learning. I'm learning. Do you speak French? I no, I really don't. I speak some <laughs> Spanish. No, I, I don't. But I think you can get by. I get by whenever I'm in French. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I just do that. Yeah. Oh, and I go, oh, yeah. 
and I that's, try to that's do that. I don't get away with that. Yeah. I don't get away with it because they understand now. So my daughter goes, you know, let's speak French so my mommy doesn't understand. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. You don't want your kids knowing a language that you don't know. And I'm having a hard time with it. I have a hard time with the R's because it's a whole phlegm thing in France. Yeah. You have to kind of channel your phlegm. No, often like they a, are just spitting eh, at us. Like a, like <laughs> <laughs> don't confuse that. They really like are. Like park. Can you say, like, and we say park, they say pock. 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 Yeah, it's disgusting. It's, I think it's very flummy. I can't, I, I can't do it. Your husband, because you mentioned, is a director, and I would think because you're an actor, he's a director, does that mean when you guys are watching television, you watch it in, in different ways? Like you're watching it from the acting perspective, he's watching it from the directing perspective? I would say that, yeah. yeah. I think so, he watches, you know, well, Game of Thrones, which we love. Yeah. Huge Game of Great Thrones. We love that show. He watches for the boobs, I would he say. He watches what? For the boobs. He definitely. watches for the boobs. He thinks it's the, the best boobs, whoever casts the show. He always is, he loves the scenery, and then he goes, oh, but the boobs. Like, that's who not, cast this show? That's not a director's <laughs> point <know>. of view. <laughs> well, yes, it is. But my directing right. expertise. Actually, yeah. Those boobs are <laughs> No, that's not. Can you do that again, please? <laughs> Oh my God, give me a stroke. Did you get a headache? Yeah, I really did, I just broke my head. But anywho, so he really does watch for the boobs? Because it doesn't take long on Game Don't of Thrones. Don't you, have you seen that show? Oh, have I seen that show? I've never missed an episode. Yeah, exactly. People take off their clothes for no reason. Well, time to go to the bank. <laughs> wow, Chang. Right. Um, we better have a secret meeting. How about the brothel? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, what's going on back there? Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so you make Shameless seem not shameless at all. At at all, no, no. Well, I'm very happy that you're on Shameless. Thank uh, you. Shameless airs Sunday nights at nine on Showtime. Sasha, thank you so much for being thank here. You, Sasha Alexander, we'll be right back. Comedian Dana Gould gonna perform. Stick around.